morning headed to work it's uh day the 26th october the 26th 2022 uh, matter of fact it's my cousin danny's birthday gotta wish him a happy birthday welcome to being as old as i am now uh so head to work and ain't got a whole lot to talk about really uh uh posted a couple of videos on steering wheel commentator yesterday i do have some ideas of some stuff that i want to talk about uh at a particular time i guess i could talk about it now one of the things that one of the things that people seem to really get confused on and i hear this all the time and that's why this argument about when things bad happen what why would god allow that why would god allow that blah 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 why would god allow that well, you've got to understand, uh, people have a misconception of God being in control of this world. God is not in control of this world. Now, that doesn't mean that God doesn't intervene in this world, because He does. He's intervened from day one. He intervenes, He's... he's uh, appointed wicked leaders he's to teach a lesson to do all these things he's brought on plagues he's done all these different things he's well he didn't bring them on they did it was just a consequence of their actions but anyway he does intervene in the world but he does not control the world he gave man dominion over the earth that's what the word says he gave man dominion over the earth then he says that Satan, Satan is the God of this world. Satan is the God of this world. And people have that misconception of, they think, well, you know, God's in control, God's in control. Well, God controls in your life what you ask him to control because He's going to do what he's going to do for his children. But he's not controlling the world. Look, if God was controlling this world, if he was controlling this world, everything would be perfect. You've got to understand that. Everything would be right. If God was controlling the world, there wouldn't be any evil. He will control it. When Jesus comes back, he will control it. And what's sad, even then, even then, Satan is loosed and just loosed for a period of time and turns a bunch of people against Jesus. You see, God doesn't control this world. That's how we have free will. If God controlled everything, everything would be for the good. But Satan is the prince and the power of the air. He's the god of this world. Now, there is this aspect of it that I do want to explain. I want, I want people to understand because it, it really came to me. The more Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, whatever you want to say, 
the more of the Holy Ghost filled people there is, the more in control God is. The more evil and Satan bow downers <laughs> and Satan worship, not, look, what is a Satan worshiper? Somebody that does not worship God. See, we have this idea of, well, there's these different categories and a Satan worshiper is these people that put on horns and wear masks and do these rituals and stuff. Look, if you're living for the devil, you're worshiping the devil. And the only way you're doing that is if you don't live for God, you're living for the devil. There's no in between. You're living for God or the devil, one or the other. So the more Satan filled, the more devil filled, the more demon filled people they are, the more control Satan has. Just like the more Christians there are that are filled with the Spirit, that are filled with the Holy Ghost, that filled and have that anointing on them, the more control God has in this world. Now, God can do anything. And we're going to see that. If we stand, we're going to see that. We'll be raptured out. But we come back because Jesus comes back with his saints. He wages war and he cleans house. If God was controlling the world right now, that's what would happen. He will control the world at some point. We don't know the day, the hour. We don't know. All we can look for is the signs. And right now, the signs don't look good. They look good for his return. They don't look good for the world. Well, it depends on what aspect you have. Because the world will be purged of the evil. How is that? Because the devil, Satan, the devil, will be chained up and tied up and pinned up for the thousand year millennium. And while he's tied up, chained up and all this, there isn't no wicked desires. There isn't any perversion. There isn't any all this immorality and sin. There isn't any of that. Cheating, lying, stealing. There isn't any of that. But as soon as Satan is unbound, as soon as he's unbound, it's no matter of time. Then he has people rejecting God, rebelling against God. And then God wipes them out. See, that's where the true believers are. We think about, we think about in the last days and those times when all this takes place. It kind of relates to now. You see, we could be moral, God-loving, filled with the Spirit people. Each and every one of us could be. But we choose, or those that choose not to be, have to realize that where their influence is coming from, it's not coming from God. If they don't want to follow God, if they don't want to uh, have a bended knee to God, if they don't want to give God the glory and praise he so richly deserves, if they don't want to do that, that means that they are doing that for the devil. They're doing it for the Antichrist. You see, Antichrist, the spirit of Antichrist is alive and well. Now whether the actual Antichrist is even born yet or not, I have no idea. I don't know. But I do know this. The more spirit-filled Christians there are, the, the larger the kingdom of God here is, the more control of this world God has. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't pray for God to do something in your life, because He will. God, prayer works. God will step in. God takes care of things. 
God looks out for you, His children. But He's not controlling the world. He will control the world. He will. But He gave mankind dominion over the earth. And look what we've done with it. We have transvestites dancing in grammar schools in some states. We have trying to teach kindergartners about transsexual stuff and gay and homosexual acts. We're trying to do all. These people are trying. The wickedness is unreal. And he wants our children. You see, being instilled in the children means that to bring them away from that, we have to teach that much more, love that much more, and push that much more Satan out. Because you see, remember, the more Satan-filled people there are, the more control Satan has over this world. He is the prince and the power of the air. You need to understand that. So many people say, oh, well, God's in control. God's in control. Look, God controls in your life what you pray for God to control in your life. God prays and takes care of the steps of a righteous man. They are ordained of God. But that doesn't mean he's controlling the world. He controls your world that you live in as far as your life. But the world, he's not controlling the world. He gave us dominion over the earth. And Satan is running them up, seeking whom he may devour. He looks for the simple-minded and all these other leftist notions and all these other things these people have that think they know better than everybody else. We're at a point we're probably at no return right now. And we need to all be aware. Everybody needs to be aware. The end is soon. You have to think about it from this aspect. Even 50 years is soon in the time clock of God. A hundred years is quick in the time frame of God. Let's remember that. This is the steering wheel commentator.